what's going on my dudes got a clip here from moist critical talking about fighting games being the most hype esports games and his opinion this was brought to my attention by avatar yaya let's cut to the clip and let's see what moist critical is talking about with fighting games and their uh and the hype surrounding them i think for an esport to be like hype to watch it's got to be fast paced and it's got to yeah. be something you can look at knowing nothing about the game and understand. Yeah. yeah. So Rocket League's perfect for that. I mean, it's soccer. Yeah, it's cars. Just, yeah, you, yeah. you know exactly mm. what you're looking at. Yeah. Smash is great. Smash, 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 Smash yeah, pretty yeah, easy yeah. as well. Smash is awesome. Well, well just I, like any fighting game. Yeah, yeah. like you, well, fighting games right it's two too. players in a fighting game most of the time. Yeah. They fight each other. You know exactly what's yeah, happening. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. fighting esports seems the most hype. It's like so the hype. crowds are insane. Oh my God. Just, so just the community in general. Just They just like, I want to get into fighting games just to be a part of this community. So they are they are massively hype. So good. <laughs> just seeing the crowds like scream and jump around whenever anyone's doing anything and it's like yeah. it's literally Pikachu fighting Jigglypuff yeah. Yeah. and people are losing their like, yeah. like, grown men like yo <laughs> it's like this is so surreal when you sit back and think about it yeah. but like it's awesome it's and so it's just sick. like the perfect level of toxicity as well where yep. it's just like everyone shit talking so nobody takes anyone seriously exactly you know? I kind of wish other esports had that it, yeah. in a way that where it was it worked but I guess because fighting games just had it from the ground up right yeah. it is one on one so they can talk yeah. shit to each other whereas yeah. it's like yeah. 5v5 it's much harder to start true, talking true. To yeah shit. yeah because everyone every, you see an interview in league and it's just like like 90 percent of interviews are like the most boring yep. generic pr interview of all yeah. time and then you see fighting game interviews and they're just like everyone's talking shit yep. it's so much fun it's Go so on. much better yeah, yeah. Yep. so to push a little bit further with what's saying here right um i do agree with moist critical in the sense that like i do love the fighting game community it's always been really fun it's always been very uh open it's been very you know who you are is who you are and being able to like express that as a player has always been a great thing in the scene and by that i mean like the energy in which that is still in the scene is you know it's never really went away you know when you see two great players going at it of caliber it's always something that's just like you know for what it's worth it's just magical to see you know what i mean and there's just nothing like it and i think that's one of the more beautiful things about the fgc as a whole is just being able to see players play at the highest level of play being able to see players just kind of take certain characters and take them to the top whether they're weak or strong they take them to the top and they like show a deeper side or perhaps something that the community has been missing, you know, and it makes other people who did like that character, and you know, it like inspires those players to keep going with them or to keep trying or to keep pushing. And, you know, metas change, tears change. So all that just plays a big role into this too, you know? Then you get into the next part where Buddy was talking about how, you know, the interviews on the regular esports games are kind of just, you know, mundane, kind of cookie cutter pr type stuff i do see that honestly in the other esports games and i do think that's one of the few things that is kind of boring about the other esports games if you will uh but i do feel most of that has to do with like bigger sponsors being involved so i always wonder maybe that's the reason why i could be wrong that's just my personal guess you know because i do think that there's a degree of rowdiness that isn't really there at all you know what i mean uh, in, in Moist Critical's case, he's saying, you know, it's kind of hard to get, you know, five people to kind of banter against each other where one on one, there's lots of banter and most people don't take it seriously. Some do. Um, but it's just there's just no energy like it, you know, and it is true when you do see like fighting game interviews, it's pretty. It's pretty open, like a lot of players are very confident. They believe in themselves and they want to like push further as players to get further long you know in their mental game because you know you're in a tournament you can't really psych yourself out even in, a, in an interview you know what i mean so it's it's just there's nothing quite like it you know what i mean and i always tell people all the time you know if you've never been to like evo or like a big tournament i would always advise people to do it because when you're there in the crowd live watching the matches especially in this case at evo you know mandalay bay is just huge so when you're there and you're able to see everything live it's like it's a different experience than watching the stream from your home you know of course you can always watch stream from your home as well but there's it's like experiencing like you know san diego comic-con from your house versus san diego comic-con live you know what i mean it's just two separate things and 
there's just nothing quite like it right so i agree and you know big ups to yaya once again for like showing me this because it just you know this video is just a reminder to me as someone who's been playing for such a long time you know why i'm still here and why i'm still playing because the scene in itself it is raw and it's always going to be that way to be honest with you i do think that there are some things we can change in terms of like being a little bit more uh, open towards sponsors and things like that but you know i personally wouldn't want fgc to change too much in that regard you know i wouldn't want to lose too much of the grit you know what i mean too much of the, the the underground fight club type deal but you know i think in some ways that has you know shy people away but i've always tell people just give it a shot you know what i mean despite that you know sometimes the the you know the fight club exclusive exclusivity excuse me is kind of cool you know what i mean it makes it a little bit more fun when you're kind of like in this little exclusive thing but it, it, it is good to have it a lot more open and i think that's one of the few things that the other esports games do like they're a lot more inclusive than fgc and that's, again please don't take my words incorrectly here and what i'm saying this right like fgc is very inclusive do not get it twisted like all the communities have been very inclusive with their games they all encourage other players to keep playing their games etc etc but you know i think now we just need to take it to a larger scale you know what i mean I, I think we need to get it to that point now i think that's really what i'm trying to aim at right here with what i'm saying like it'd be really awesome to just see these these games just get treated and you know much like the other esports games you know because i do think that we spend a lot of time as players discipline ourselves to try to get just as good as these other players at other games and they get to compete from the comfort of their own home thankfully the newer online for these games have been very helpful and instrumental towards our players in the fgc you know getting better and it also opened up a gateway for other players to play as well so it's it's a good thing people can play a lot more comfortably uh but as always you know as someone's been here for such a long time like i i, I would love to see this just get bigger get better you know it, it was it's something to be said when we have so many like good games and we just don't get that kind of support you know that's one of the few things i do think that's kind of poop but you know it is actually getting better to be honest with you guys um so i do hope in the future we're able to get this you know community up to par with the other esports games i don't know there's there's, there's so much i can say here there's so much i can unpack here there's so much emotion right now going on in my dome that it's just hard for me to just put it all out here but just know that you know I, I love fighting games you know what i mean and that's what this channel is about this channel isn't just for guilty gear you know i am mostly a guilty gear player but you know i i love fighting games as a whole you know i've grown up playing a lot of them so just keep supporting fighting games you know and big ups to moist critical and, and those guys out there you know you guys are amazing you know i know you guys at the moment just have hotashi but just know that there are people out here rooting for you guys to keep supporting you know on your end and other bigger organizations and things of that nature it's great to just see people actually giving fighting games a fair one in that regard um i'm just hoping we get more in, at the end of the day you know we we get more opportunities we get more things for our players we get just the whole nine just looking for more just looking for more so with that being said let me not take up too much more of you guys time that's gonna do it for me here you guys take care let me know how you guys feel about fighting games as a whole you know are you guys hyped about fighting games yourself you know what what is it in particular that gets you hyped about fighting games talk to me in the comments below let's have a conversation about fighting games and the hype and uh, with that being said let me get up out of here and i will catch you guys in the next video peace